Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, February 3rd, 2010. This morning I'd like to extend the little thing I've been doing with JSON to show you how you can use JSON in Web Velocity 1.0 with support that's already built in, so you don't really need to load anything extra. I've got a one table demo here, I've got a title, a created time, and then over here I've got a link to some JSON for that object. And you notice that this is slash notes slash one dot JSON. If you look down at the bottom of my browser, you can see the link, and this is slash three dot JSON. So if I grab the ID of the object, append dot JSON, it'll automatically give me the JSON for that object. So let's click on that, and you see that it's automatically prompting me to either save it or open it. Let's go ahead and open it, and there I have the JSON coming back in. So that's something that comes into Web Velocity right out of the box. You don't need to do anything. So all I had to do was add those links. And if you go into this Notes List UI class, which is the class that is giving me that rendered collection interface, I overrode render details on to put a little styling. And these are the two methods of interest, render table header on and body on, because the header gives me those title, created, and JSON links, uh, names rather. And then down below, I've got the body I've got to muck with. So let's look at headings. What I did is I took this method unchanged from the superclass and just added this at the bottom, HTML table heading with JSON. And then I took this method, which is where the objects themselves are individually printed as it iterates through the collection. And I just left this again alone, but added a table data width and the JSON link. And to get the JSON link, I just added this. Get the object ID by sending print string to the ID, which is the ID for each individual object in that collection. That's the way WebVelocity uses the active record pattern. Then I create the URL and use HTML, HTML colon to put out an href. And that's it because that's basically a static bookmarkable URL that Web Velocity supports for each one of those objects. So as you come up here, you could write more complicated things that would allow you to do query support for this so that you could query this, have a link automatically put out for all the ones that match the query, and somebody could retrieve those by JSON with some other application. So not that terribly useful for a user interface necessarily. I did this to show you how it works, but you could support a query interface for other tools this way that worked pretty nicely. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.